once again as the sandstorm rages, the bots deploy from the half platform area. Crossing the line gets them three points or six points, depending on which level they're on. They can score a pod, it's worth three points. They can place a hatch panel, it's worth two. We now have full field vision as the sandstorm has decreased. The bots moving up and down the field freely right now. They can see everything from the sidelines as the human players rely on camera vision and their own vision to see what's happening. For the 26 Global Dynamic places a hatch panel on the Red Alliance rocket. As 1261, the Robo Lions score. And the Blue Alliance rocket with another one right behind. One third of the way to completing a full rocket for the Blue Alliance. 4026 Global Dynamics and 3581, the Think Robotics Alliance have hatch panels going to place them. One on the rocket, one on the front of the cargo ship as the Robo Lions score in the Blue Alliance cargo ship. Those round spherical objects that you see floating around the field, those are known as cargo pods. And they score those cargo pods, they're worth three points apiece as the Blue Alliance robot appears to be caught up in the cargo bay. They free themselves, 63-41 moves back down towards the loading zone. The Robo Lions, they have cargo in their possession. They're moving around the field. They're heading to the rocket. No, yes, no. All right, there they go. They're backing up. Looks like they're headed for the cargo ship. There's 3581 places another hatch panel for the Red Alliance. Worth well, another two points as it's 54 to 29 with T minus 31 seconds to go. 30 seconds left. Still a lot of time for scoring as 3581 moves off the half platform. Global Dynamics in the middle. They're going to try their signature flip one more time as we're down to 17 seconds. Flip their bot over and they're up on level three. That's worth 12 points. There's the Blue Alliance bots. Also, 1261, the Robo Lions up on level two, worth six points. 44-59, the Leotex, they're on the low level, worth three. Both alliances look like they've scored. Have platform, ranking points. The low level worth three points. The second level worth six. The top level, where Global Dynamics rests, worth 12. If they can score more than 15 points in the half platform, they gain an additional ranking point. That will help them in the standings when we finish the qualifying matches. We're waiting for the launch command. As they're checking everything, making sure everything is secure. We're waiting on a go, no go. The alliances so far today have been able to blast off a of planet Primus. And take a look at the screen. We've been given to go. The Blue Alliance blasts off with a score of 70 to 44 over the Red Alliance. All members of the Blue Alliance move up in the standings. Gained an additional rank. King point for a G5 violation. Well, 